Oh no, you made the mistake of buying one of these really cheap microphones and you can't send it back for whatever reason. But you really want to do something with it. How can you make it sound better? Hey guys, Funny Guy Timmy here, and today I wanted to do something for y'all who still might have faith in this mic or already owned a mic very similar to this. Or maybe a mic, maybe not this bad, but still not the highest of quality, and you wanted to make it sound better. So I'm, I've challenged myself. This is the newer, whoa, which one is this? Let's see if I can find it. Ah, yeah. It is the newer NW800. Link in the description. Uh, this microphone uh, is notoriously bad, uh, and is one that I have... Um, not praised. I haven't said really anything good about this microphone that I know of. Uh, and I got it just to do a test. Actually, it, basically for 30 bucks, I got a, a shock mount, uh, a foam wind cover, a, t a desktop or a desk arm thing. So I was like, ah, oh, free microphone. So uh, this is the, the, I think this is probably the lowest quality microphone that I own without it being like a headset mic or the the newer 14.6, something like that, uh, shotgun mic. This uh, still requires phantom power and still uh, is XLR, so plugs into an interface or a mixer, like I have it right now, which is plugged into my Yamaha. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to make this sound less sharp and tinny. I'm going to try to make this sound a little bit better. When I first started out, I actually owned some microphones very similar to this. They didn't sound great. And I had to get better and better at editing them to sound better before I was able to purchase a new one and then do less editing. So this is kind of like a throwback for me. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing a video of me doing some audio with this and trying to make it sound better. All right, so we're in Audacity. This is the program that I started out using. This is a program that I have the the most miles on. I guess that's a way of saying it. So we're going to record a little bit of audio. I can, just, I can hear the tube. I can hear the tube when I say certain things. That's how bad this microphone is. I don't know. What should we say? Um, what's on the back of this? Is there anything to read on here? All right, so I have my, uh, basically the user manual, uh, which I have no idea why they'd have this, such a simple device, for the um, the Movo uh, SMM5 uh, shock mount. It's a really tiny shock mount, this little guy right here. Uh, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to read, uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's one line right here. Uh, that has a couple S's and like a T in there or something like that. So, should be good. First, install the cold shoe. What is that sound? Is that this? Good lord. First, install the cold shoe on the shock mount. Lock and tighten it. Alright, so that's what we're going to be working with. So we're going to take that... This section right here. First, install the cold shoe on the shock mount, lock, Ugh. and tighten it. God, that sounds awful. All right, so we're going to get rid of this. Don't need that anymore. You have served your purpose. Very nice. I can't even fold you! Okay, so I'm going to delete all of this. I don't need any of that. Okay, so this is what we're going to be working with. This right here. And first thing that I'm going to do... Uh, is I'm actually going to normalize to zero. If you've seen any of my other editing, uh, voiceover editing using Audacity, this a lot of this is going to be familiar. Uh, when it, It's going to come down to the fine-tuning the EQing, though. That's going to be different. So I'm going to normalize this to zero so that I can really hone in on the noise, which this is going to be a very noisy mic. So I've selected the silence. We're going to listen to that. Okay, has some breathing. I don't need the breathing. I just need this part. No. Let's go over here. Okay, that's fine. We'll just take that. 
Let's zoom out. Get noise. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so now that I've selected the noise sample, I'm actually going to trim this down for a second. Okay. Go in, noise reduction. Now we're going to preview. First, install the cold shoe on the shock mount. Lock and tighten it. Okay, well, the noise sounds fine. So we've gotten rid of a lot of that hiss, that background hiss. Okay, so we're going to normalize down to 3, negative 3 dB, normalize it back down. Okay, and I'm going to just clean that up by just getting rid of it. Zoom in. Get rid of that too. Okay. First, in okay, so in between my phrases, in between each thing, when there's, there's an area of silence, I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of these. And there's a, there's a reason. Um, when it's a really kind of a lousy mic and you have to do cleanup, the silent areas or the areas where it's not quite silence, but it probably did a lot of cleanup on it because the noise was so high, it's going to sound metallic. So we're going to go ahead and just get rid of that. And since that was a breath, I'm going to be able to trim that down. First, install the cold shoe on the shock mount. God, that's that area right there is just going to be a nightmare. Go in here again. That eh, wasn't that much. Shorten that. Trim that down a little bit, too. Okay. First, install the cold shoe on the shock mount. Lock and tighten it. Okay, so we've selected what we're going to work with. Gotten rid of the... Noise, for the most part, we've gotten rid of the areas of silence. We've trimmed it down to make it sound a little bit more professional. And now we are going to go in and compress it. And this may or may not work. Depends on how it looks. We'll find out. Mm. Forgot something. Copy. Select to the left. Paste. So now I have two copies. Again, if you've seen me do this um, in any of my other editing videos, you'll know what I'm doing. Uh, because Audacity, they have a problem with ramping in to compression. Uh, the first few seconds, it, it kind of like just, it fades in. I don't know why that happens. I haven't been able to figure it out. So what I do is I just copy, paste, and then now what I'll do, now that I've compressed the whole thing, is I will select and delete. So it just looks so much better. And then delete that. All that back there. Okay. So now, see if it sounds any different. First, install the cold shoe on the shock mount. There's an area right here where there is this tube noise. It's that right there. Install the cold shoe. Do that kind of do 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 do. What that is is that is a either. It's either this the shock mount itself because it's a thin aluminum or it's the tube to the microphone where because it's it's a uh, hollow and suspended it's vibrating so you're getting that doom install the cold shoe on the i don't know if you guys are able to hear it make sure you're wearing headphones install the cold shoe god that sounds awful okay i mean as far as the compression goes that's fine Okay, so now I'm going to equalize and first install the cold shoe on the shock mount, lock, and tighten it. I'm going to do one pass like this and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to try to eliminate that tube frequency. First install the cold shoe on the shock mount. Lock and tighten it. All right, so we have our audio, which has been uh, compressed and EQ'd and cleaned up. And now I'm going to go back in and try to narrow in, kind of hone in on that Do. sound. That kind of Do. on the show. Okay, so I'm also going to get rid of that. I just don't need that in my life. Get rid of that. Okay. 
zoom out. First, install the cold shoe. Install the cold shoe. So it's in here where I'm getting that tube sound. How to get rid of a tube sound? Where does that exist? So, install the cold shoe. Install the cold shoe. Install the cold shoe. Okay. So I'm going to put that there. I want that to stay. I think it's a lower, it sounds like a lower frequency. Install the cold shoe. Install the cold shoe. Install the cold shoe. Install the cold shoe. No, it's not hitting it at all. Let's pull this over here. Install the cold shoe. Bring these back up. Install the cold shoe. Pull this down. Install the cold shoe. Install the cold shoe. See, it, it got rid of it. It kind of helped get rid of it, but it's eliminating voice. Install the cold shoe. All right, are you here? Install the cold shoe. No. Install the cold shoe. Install the cold shoe. Install the cold shoe. No. Install the cold shoe. Ooh, I think I found it. Be it. So I'm gonna bring these guys back up. Bring you in closer. Doll the cold shoe. I think I found it. Doll the cold shoe. Ooh, it's practically gone. Soften this a little bit. Doll the cold shoe. Doll the cold shoe. Okay, so we need to bring everything else up. Let's try to make up difference. So for this, bring that down. Hoop. Hoop. Doll the cold shoe. Okay, now we're gonna listen to it. First, install the cold shoe on the shock mount, lock, and tighten it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so I'm going to go into my EQing, and I'm going to save this one. What did I save it? Detuber? Yeah, this, this is the name of Detuber. Okay. So we're going to rename Detuber, because this is just for me. Who cares? Uh, save. All right, cool. So now that I have that saved, delete this, cancel. Uh, well, not delete it, but just close it. And I am going to control Z, undo all of this so first install the cold shoe okay i think this is before i did any eqing is this yeah okay this is before i did any eqing so i'm actually going to do that that eqing first i'm going to do that detuber right there detuber go ahead and get rid of this get rid of that condense this a little bit okay I'm gonna go back in here, trim you down a little bit more. Okay. First, install the cold shoe on the shock mount, lock, and tighten it. Okay, so there we go. So now we've basically gotten rid of that frequency, that that noise. Now, I don't think I need all of this now, now that I'm gonna just eliminate that frequency, and then I'm gonna go in and EQ everything else. So I'm trying to get rid of that frequency. So now I've narrowed it in. First, install the cold shoe on the shock mount, lock, okay. and tighten it. Okay, so I've gotten rid of that noise, that frequency, by creating a dip. Creating a dip in the audio to where that noise lives and try to... Now, I can't completely get rid of it. I can't completely get rid of that frequency because then my voice will sound odd. But I can take away a lot of the focus. Very narrow. Hopefully, it'll sound subtle. So, I'm going to do that. Control-Z. Okay. Copy. I'm going to do this again. 
this whole frequency thing again. Or the duplicating thing again. Okay, so I did that. Okay, you saw a lot of change right there, right? So there was change that happened there. Boop, okay. So now I am going to normalize to here. Okay, and now I'm going to go in. So we've, we've gotten rid of that. Let's go ahead and listen to it. First, install the cold shoe on the shock mount, lock, and tighten it. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and I'm going to EQ the entire thing a little bit better. Okay, there's still too much bass. And it's kind of muffled. Let's maybe smoothen it out a little bit. First, install the cold shoe on the shock mount, lock, and tighten it. First, install the cold... I think it's pretty much as good as it's going to get. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Okay. Uh, there's another thing that I can do here. In the way, that just looks odd, so I'm going to do it. Okay, so I'm going to bring this up and then bring this one down. Okay, right there. Bring this up a little bit more, too. All right. First, install the cold shoe on the shock mount. Lock and tighten it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go back here. And it still sounds like trash. But this is going to be the best part right here. So I'm going to take this, copy, bring it up here, move it all the way to the left. Paste. Okay. Go ahead and get rid of that. Put these two together. Why did you do that? That was weird. Uh, oh, that's probably because I had that going. Okay. So I'm gonna Let's bring these two in a little bit closer. Normalize you to the same. Oh, good lord. Yeah, alright. That's odd, but alright. I don't know why. Yeah, that's why. These peaks are pretty much the same level. Okay. All righty. Now, the first one is going to be the original before I did anything, and the second one is obviously going to be the one that I cleaned up. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Okay. First, install the cold shoe on the shock mount, lock, and tighten it. First, install the cold shoe on the shock mount, lock, and tighten it. Eh. I mean, it's better. It's not great. Uh, the second one definitely sounds a lot more muffled. Um, first, install the cold shoe on the shock mount. Lock and tighten it. First, install the cold shoe on the shock mount. Lock and tighten it. But the second one sounds really tenny and it has that sharp noise. In order to get rid of that noise and a lot of that hiss, I had to, had to make it sound a little bit muffled and compensate with bringing up the bass. So... It's better, but neither one of these are professional. There's only so much you can do with a really low-budget mic, and that's why my thing on this channel has been trying to get people to buy higher-budget or higher-quality microphones because you don't have to really spend that much to get a higher-quality microphone, which is really the point I think I'm trying to make here. Uh, yes, it does sound better. Maybe if this is a microphone that you had, you can use some of these techniques that I just showed, uh, especially as far as, like, honing in on a noise. Um, you know, you can do that. Uh, EQing does help. Compression does help. And trying to level it out does help. But, again, there's only so much you can do. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to see any other videos, leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, if you'd like to see any other microphones being reviewed, leave those in the comment section below. If you have any questions as far as Audacity, as far as programs, anything like that, any questions on voiceover, leave those down in the comment section below. And until next time, peace!